What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Shout out to the follower <laughs> that sent me this clip that we about to take a look at. And as, as I watched it and the more I watched it, the more I got upset with the person that was recording than the person that was incapacitated. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Mr. Johnson. Uh, Felipe drink beer in the work. Motherfucker, Felipe, drink beer. Yeah, yeah, in the work. Drink beer. So as we can see in the clip, there is obviously something the matter with that driver. Now, whether he's under the influence or just flat out incapacitated, we're not sure what's going on with him. Let's continue. Hey, Felipe, no drink beer. Motherfucker. Felipe, no drink it, man. So here's my thing. Instead of getting out of the truck and running over there to that driver to find out if he's all right, because by the looks of it, he's in no condition to drive. None at all. He's in no condition to drive. But yet, the person that's recording thought it would be a good idea instead of going over there to see what's the matter with the driver it would have been it's a good idea to sit in your truck break out your camera and record that driver now as we can see it's a united's roads driver they are a car haul company obviously there's something wrong with the driver we're not sure if he's drunk. We're not sure if he's high. We're not sure if he's sick. We don't know that because the person that's recording this ain't doing nothing at all. Now, of course, we could turn around and say, we, we, we could turn around and say this, hey, We'll, we'll get on the person that's recording, and then the person that's recording is going to come back in the comment section and be like, oh, yeah, I did go over there and see what was the matter with the driver. Then why you didn't put that on record? You thought it would be better to get likes, views, and a whole bunch of comments by just recording this driver's inadequacies. We can see that there's something wrong with this driver. He don't need to be driving. He don't even need to be in the seat. If that was me, if that was me, it wouldn't have been no recording. I wouldn't have put that on Front Street. I wouldn't put, a, I wouldn't put that driver out there like that. I would have got out my truck. With my concerns, I would have walked over. Now, if the driver was, was high 
or anything drug related, yeah, I would have took his keys. Better yet, I wouldn't even let him in the truck. I wouldn't even let him in the truck. But if it was something else the matter with him medically, then I would have got medical attention. What I had to call the company, I might have to in that situation. I might have to call the, the, the uh, what, what is it, United Rose and be like, hey, you know, your driver is, is not in the best condition to be driving right now. I would have did that. I would have done that. Because as we could clearly see in the video, that again, this driver is not in any condition to drive. I'm more upset. Now, I, I, I'm upset with, with the driver getting in the seat because there's nobody stopping him. There's nobody stopping him from starting up the truck. There's nobody stopping him from getting on the road and causing a catastrophe because it's a catastrophe waiting to happen. But here you are recording. You see it. You see this driver. You see something the matter with him. But yet you decide to record him and put it up on TikTok. Believe it or not, this video has a lot of views and no comments, none. And, and, and in the comment session, it's not even turned off. It's still turned on. Now, of course, the person in the background that's talking, I don't understand a word he's saying. So maybe, you know, Maybe that's him, but usually with TikTok videos like this, they usually do the voiceovers. And of course, the most popular one is the Mr. George one. Hey, Mr. George, that's that's the most popular one right now. So this may be a voiceover, but still, you seen the driver and the drive you 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 see that the driver might need some help. And you decided not to do anything. Now, we, of course, we're not sure what happened. We, we don't know. You know, we don't know if the driver is, if he caused an accident or he's alive, he's asleep or whatever the case. We don't know. But in any case, anything liable to happen, he just wasn't in no condition. It's not. You guys can see he's not. And y'all see, again, as I said before, I'm more upset with the person recording this than the driver getting into the truck. <laughs> Man, I tell y'all, camera cultures, that's all y'all care about now. Y'all don't care about nothing else. All y'all care about is to get the, is is to record and 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 try to go viral. And for what? Y'all not gonna make no money. Y'all not y'all not gonna make no more y'all not gonna make more money than what y'all doing in trucking. You're not gonna do that. Could have just got out of help. Drivers, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me ask you what you guys would have done. What what you would have done? Would you would have would you would have got out of your truck to go over there and see if that driver is all right? Offer a helping hand or see what's up? Or would you would have let him get in the truck like that? I know I wouldn't, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Big G's got it locked, boy. Want you to let me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, yeah, don't make a sound.